Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabati fillah There's no doubt <clears throat> that we all have a greater need to practice our Islam. And something I want to mention as advice for myself and others is that no one is going to practice for you. That if you want success, if you want what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised, you're going to have to improve yourself in your deen. You're going to have to begin to pray and make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And a ta'ah Obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the foundation of taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That when we talk about the concept of taqwa Allah azza wa jal, we're talking about doing the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fulfilling our commandments, uh, to, fulfilling the duties that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded you to do, and avoiding his prohibitions. So everything Allah commands you with is an act of ibadah. So therefore, strive your utmost to do so. Ettaqullah mastata'atun, fear Allah as much as you can. And everything he subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited you from, then you do your best to avoid it and be far away from it. La taqrabu zina. Do not come close to zina, to adultery or fornication. So it lets us know that not only fornication is muharram, but coming close to it, taking the steps, striving those steps leading up to it, that those are likewise Muharram. And that brings to mind a qa'ida shar'iya, faqiyya, which is al wasail لها أحكام المقاصد الوسائل لها أحكام المقاصد <coughs> which means that the the means to something takes the hukum of its end. So we don't say the means justifies the ends, no. We say, with regards to this principle, that the means that you take, it takes the ruling of the intended and end result. Now, we definitely need to, to explain that because it's a little bit my translating translation of it may be deficient so we need to explain it further so we have a good concept of what we're talking about al-wasail laha ahkam al-maqasid for example if someone wants to do 
something good, like go to the masjid. He wants to pray to Allah Azza wa Jal, he or she. But let's say a man who wants to go for the Fajr prayer, <clears throat> and the masjid is far from him. So he takes his vehicle that he has put gas in, he warms up his vehicle in the cold, and he drives a mile, two miles, five miles, ten miles, in order with the intention of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. With the intention of worshiping Allah Azza wa Jal alone. Al Wasahil, Al Wasail, Laha Akam al Maqasid. So therefore, he has made all those steps to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with that intent. And that means his vehicle, which is normally has the hukum of being mubah, of being something which is uh, permissible to use. A car is permissible to drive. A truck, doesn't matter. It's permissible to use. Whether it's gas, whether it's a uh, Tesla, whether it is electric car, whatever. It's jayz. And there's no adjur and there's no sin related to it. It's mubah. However, if you use that same thing which is mubah, and now you're using it for a means to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, then, that, then in that situation, that mubah is a wasail now, it's a wasila, it's a means to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it takes the ruling of what you intended it for, which was to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you use it to, to get yourself to the masjid, to pray to Allah wa ta'ala, you're going to get the reward, and you're going to get adjur just for getting in that car and doing so. Perhaps with every turn of the wheel, you are increasing your reward because you use that as a means to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The same scenario, or a tweak on that scenario, little, little you know, we're going to change that scenario a bit so we can illustrate this qaida. And again, that is ta'a. We just mentioned an example of ta'a, which falls under taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, following the commands of Allah wa ta'ala. The second scenario is one in which the person begins to, uh, that same vehicle, which is Mubah, but now they want to use it to go to the club, to go to a place that's mixed where they're going to listen to the new Tacky 69 or whoever tends to be in vogue these days. So they're using their vehicle to go get their groove on in the, mesh, uh, in the club. Echtalat, there's mixing. In fact, they're going for that purpose. They're going to be disobedient to Allah. We don't even need to get into all the details. They're going with the intent to be disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Under that scenario, that vehicle now that they got in and they had the sole purpose, the reason they filled the gas tank up was because they knew the club was very far. It was in another city. They needed to get to that city. So now... Perhaps even the filling of the car, if it was for that intention. And driving it to that place is now going to take that ruling. And so perhaps you've increased your sin because al-wasil al-wasail laha akam al-maqasid. The means takes the, ru the rulings of the ends. So that's why it's very important to go back to the qa'id al-shari'iyah, to the hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and first and foremost to the book of Allah that tells us about the importance of ikhlas lillah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And they weren't commanded except to worship Allah alone, and to him is the religion. That's ikhlas. And the one who does that is a mukhlis. That's sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Likewise, the Prophet said, Allah 
The Prophet ﷺ said, Verily, actions are tied to the intentions, letting us know the importance of our intentions. So it's important to be on obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, strive your best to fear Allah wa ta'ala, and remember that even using the things which are normally don't have a ruling for the halal or the haram can be your success or your destruction. Let's think of one other example. The one who uses a, an apple. They're gonna eat an apple. An apple's mubah, it's food, jayas, it's okay to eat. And they're using this apple to eat, to get, of course, uh, with actually the intention to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're like, I don't want to get hungry before the salat. I'm going to eat this apple. And it's a healthy apple. It's organic, uh, whatever the case may be. Okay? They're taking their the means to, to do that in order to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now they're using that apple as a mean. They're getting reward even for eating the apple. The second scenario is someone says they're picking apples. And they see some someone they don't like for no reason and they pick an apple and they begin to use it as a weapon to throw it at the people just to cause chaos and then they run off so now that apple which is a means which they use it because it was hard in order to hit those people becomes a tool of sin and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ikhlas with the bat with sallallahu alayhi wa sallam على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم